Welcome to Choice Classic Radio. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and help keep this show alive by donating at choiceclassicradio.com. For more of your favorite old-time radio shows, join us on our companion podcast, Choice Classic Radio Detectives, where we bring to you tales from the greatest detective shows the golden age of radio had to offer. And now, with 91 surviving episodes broadcast on NBC Radio from 1934 to 1957, we bring to you Lights Out. Ironized Yeast presents Lights Out, everybody. It is later than you think. Lights Out brings you stories of the supernatural and the supernormal, dramatizing the fantasies and the mysteries of the unknown. We tell you this frankly, so if you wish to avoid the excitement and tension of these imaginative plays, we urge you calmly, but sincerely, to turn off your radio now. This is Arj Obler, Nature Study. That's a charming pastime, they tell me, the wonders of nature and all its infinite variety. But the most interesting and varied subject of all, I think, is the mind of man. It's unpredictable convolutions. And that's what our story is about tonight, after a brief word from Frank Martin. Tired out, run down, on edge, all in? Is that how you feel tonight? Well, if vitamin B1 and iron shortage is what's to blame, listen. Ironized yeast tablets give you both vital substances. Yes, in easy-to-take tablet form. So many, many people who used to suffer from these deficiencies now tell how good they feel, how pleasant little ironized yeast tablets help them regain pep and strength and needed pounds. Often, they say, it's like a new lease on life. That's right. The name is Ironized Yeast Tablets. And now, lights out, everybody. There we are. There we are where? Look about you. Ooh, oh, my goodness, it is beautiful, isn't it? I did not know this was where we were going. It's oh. like a canyon, isn't it? It is a canyon. Oh, a cleft in the rocks, few people in this part of the country know. Well, I'm sitting down to rest my poor Oh, no, 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 oh. no, Miss God, we must go on. Oh, no, no, no. no. where oh, are we going? Come now, come. Oh. On all our other Sunday nature study trips, I've never had such rebellion. Oh. Because we've never walked so far before. Oh, that's right. Where is this you are taking us today, Mr. Arnold, to Canada? <laughs> My dear friends and neighbors, we're exactly 15 miles from home. You oh. could think we're out of this world. Yes, yes, if one knows nature's little highways and byways, even in the midst of the city's turmoil, one can find nature's true isolation. Well, where do we go from here? Uh, there's a little path down through the canyon. There we will find lichens of many varieties. Oh, my goodness, what's that? My dear. I know, I know. They are like little ferns in the rock. Excellent, oh. Mr. Kamari, excellent. Oh, I remember from last week. Uh, you will notice these scratches on the face of the rock. Oh. oh. Who did it? Not who. What? The glacier. Glacier? Uh-huh. What's glacier? Don't ask me. Oh, I know. It's all that ice and stuff from the North Pole that came down here a long time ago. Excellent, Miss Wilkins, <laughs> excellent. Oh, yes, that I have seen near Seattle in Washington. That's right. There are still glaciers up in the northern Rocky Mountains. Uh, what's the matter, Miss Guard? You you seem displeased. All I want to say is this. Do you mean to say we came all this way by subway and streetcar and bus just to see some old rock scratches? Well, there isn't any place in the state that has a finer record of glacial action. How do you like that? I thought I was going to see flowers and then just scratches and rocks. Well, Miss Guard, Mr. Arno, he's a smart man. He knows Well, then that... maybe he knows I want to go home. You're tired. This is all there is to see. I'm starting back now. Oh, come, come on, Miss Wilkins. Let's get out of here. Find some real excitement. Well, I, I, I don't know. After all, Mr. Arno took all the time and come. What's that? Something up there. The rocks. Look out. Ah! Oh, it's, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Miss, Miss Wilkins. Miss Wilkins. She passed out, I see. You... You all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, oh, oh. see, she's all right. 
Miss, Miss Wilkins, are you hurt? Are you... Oh, oh sure, sure. She just fainted. And no wonder all those rocks falling down. It's a miracle we weren't hurt. You all right, Mr. Kamara? Oh, sure, sure. We are all right. Nobody hurts. So oh! Miss Wilkins, what, what's the matter? Under that rock? Legs. Oh. Who? Uh, Miss Guard. It's Miss Guard. The rock? Oh. Get him off. Get him off. Get him off. No, no, Miss Wilkins. Get him off. Oh. Stay back. We'll get her up. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Come on. Come on. Keep your hips up. Hurry. 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 Oh, the other one now. Come on. Easy. Easy. Now, a little more. There. One more rock. One more rock. You hear that, Miss Wilkins? One more rock. Oh, she's dead. I know she's I can't move. Lift more, Mr. Arnold. Yeah. Lift. I, 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 uh, oh, poor girl. Oh, Miss Gard. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. Look. Miss Wilkins, be quiet. Miss Gard, she's still alive. Alive? But how can... Shh, shh, She's trying to talk. <clears throat> yes, yes, Miss Gard, I'm here. I'm listening. Yes, what is it? I, I'm... I, I don't know. I'm sorry, I can't understand you, Miss Gard. What are you trying to tell us? Yes, yes, what, Miss Gard, what? I... I can't die without telling... Telling what? My... My husband didn't die hard to save She's dead. You, you feel better now, Miss Wilkins? Oh, all right. Oh, don't try to get up. Just rest. Rest. A few minutes more or less won't make any difference. Now... Mr. Arno. Uh, yes, Mr. Kamara. I have been sitting here. I have been trying to figure it out in my head. Why is it? Well, there must have been a fissure in the rocks. The action of frost and rain loosened them, and perhaps the vibration of our no, voices... No, no, I'm... I'm thinking, why should it hurt her, not us? Well, I guess that's what you'd call fate. Do you think... Did she really kill her husband, like she said? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about her except she was a neighbor. Yes. yes. She lived in our building for a whole year already. I really don't know about her. I know. You, Miss Wilkins? Tell us, please. She, she told me she used to sing in a nightclub. So? Really? One oh, morning she wasn't feeling good. She came down to my apartment. I guess she felt like talking. She told me she used to work in this nightclub, and then she married this rich fellow. I sold her, and she was lots of money, and she married him, and she didn't like him very much, and all of a sudden he died. Oh. Did she Did she tell you that there was anything unusual about his death? No. She just said all of a sudden he died. Like poison? What are we sitting here for? Let's get out of here. Quick, let's get out yes, of here. Yes, Mr. Arnold, why do you sit there? Lead us the way out. Mr. Arnold, what's the matter with you? Why don't you just... Why do you sit there looking at us? I... I didn't want to say anything before. Say what? Say what? I went over there, the only way out of the canyon. The rocks have blocked it off. <gasps> oh. I'm very much afraid we can't get out. It's no use talking to me, Mr. Arnold. But it's so dangerous. Dangerous? What is dangerous? I climb up. The rocks are like stairs. I pull up over the top and I'm out. Oh, but I insist it's dangerous. That tumble of rocks. Miss Wilkins, am I not right? Well, we just can't wait in here forever. And I'm sure that Mr. Kamara knows what he's doing. That is a very smart girl. Look at that wall. It is nothing. Oh, but oh, I... you don't worry, Mr. Arnold. I told you the rocks are along here like steps. I climb up and I go and get help. And soon I have you out of here. All you do is to help me up that first rock. Well... All right, if you insist. Sure, sure. Put your hands together in a grip. Like that. That is right. 
I put my foot in your hand and you push up and give a boost, right? Yes. All right. Hold your hands down. Right. I get my foot. Now, lift. Here we go. Oh, there. I'm up. So, well, I'm up here already. The rest of the way to climb is easy. What did I tell you? Uh, be careful, Mr. Kamaran. Here I go. He is very strong, isn't he? Uh, uh, what'd you say, Miss Wilkins? He is very strong, isn't he? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, careful of loose rocks, Mr. Kamaran. I am all right. Test every handhold. Those rocks are all loose. You get us out of here. I know he will. Yes, yes, he will. He... He's up so high. Oh, yes. I... I just can't watch anymore. Well, he... He only has a few more feet to go, and... He'll be over the edge. You're... You're doing very well, Mr. Kamaran. Sure, I told you. Your Kamaran, he always does. Uh, Mr. Kamaran, what... What's the matter with him? I don't... I don't know. He suddenly stopped talking. He isn't moving. Mr. Kamarin, what is the matter? Mr. Kamarin! My arm! Come on! I can't hold! A cramp in his arm. Oh. Uh, hold on, Mr. Kamarin. I'll try to get up to you. Don't let go. I'll try to get up to Mr. Kamarin. Mr. Kamarin. Dad. No, 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 I, I don't think so. He, he lifted up his head. Oh, Mr. Camarin, what? Hey. I couldn't hold on. Don't move. No. Just listen. I do tell you. Yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm listening. Yes. I all broken. We'll be dead. Oh. We'll be dead. Can't die without telling. When I was boy, Syria went hunting with my brother. He never came back. They thought he ran away. I wanted his knife. <laughs> so I killed him. I killed him. Buried him. I killed my brother. <sighs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we leave our Lights Out story of nature study for just a moment to look in on an office in a New York skyscraper. It's five in the afternoon and the secretary is saying... Hello? Why, yes, Bob. I'd love to go dancing. I'll be through here by 6.30. Be seeing you. Bye. With all this overtime leaving me limp as a rag, you've got the pet to go dancing. How do you do it? Why, when I felt myself slipping, I found out I just needed more vitamin B1 and iron. And I got them as easy as pie by taking those wonderful little ironized yeast tablets. I still don't see how they could make all that difference. Let me explain. When you don't get enough vitamin B1 from your food, you may lose your appetite, not eat all you need. So lose weight, strength, and pep. And without enough iron, you may be weak and pale and feel all in. I see. And you say ironized yeast tablets supply both vitamin B1 and iron? Right. It's ironized yeast and its famous two-way help that's been of such surprising benefit to so many men and women with these deficiencies. So if you need more vitamin B1 and iron, for your own sake, get ironized yeast tablets right away. Then see if before long you aren't saying... Oh, how wonderful to feel peppy and raring to go again. That tired feeling is gone. I put on pounds I needed. How I wish I'd tried ironized yeast tablets long ago. And now back to our exciting Lights Out story of Nature Study. Two people have died in Hidden Canyon on a Sunday morning. Two people have died with confessions of murder on their lips. Miss Wilkins, where are you? Miss Wilkins, 
Are you hiding? Miss Wilkins, you shouldn't have run away like that. You shouldn't. We'll work something out together. We'll get out of here. Oh, there you are. Why did you hide back here? N nothing's going to hurt you. Nothing. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. What? I'll never get out. Never, never, never. But why should you say that? This canyon is well known. Sooner or later, any moment, someone will come along and see us down here. No, never, never, never. Now, that's no way to talk, Miss Wilkins. They are dead, aren't they? Aren't they? Don't think of them. i got to think of them. They're me. Me. What are you talking about? You think I haven't got a brain in my head? You think I don't know what I'm talking about? Well, I do. I always do. I let everybody think I'm a fool, but I know more than you or anyone. And I know why they died, I know. Miss Wilkins, I don't I'm know... I'm telling you. Listen to me. I'm telling you. I know why they died. Yes, of course. It was that... Well, you listen to me. All right. Miss Gard died, and he committed a murder. Yes. And Mr. Kamarin died, and he committed a murder. Well... That's why I won't get out of here alive. I committed a murder, too. What? I committed a murder, too. That's... That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just saying things. No, 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 not true. But you? Well, how? Married. All I wanted to do was get married. What? <laughs> Mary Jean Ellis, we'd gone to school together. The same room in college, the same room when we came here to go to work. Always together. My best friend, everyone said, my best friend up till Joe. I met him first, and then she met him. She said she didn't like him, but I knew she did. She did. At the party, I came into the room. His arms had been around her. I knew they had. He couldn't fool me. She couldn't fool me. It was, it was her fault, not his. My best friend. Joe was for me, not for her. He was thinking about her. He kept on thinking about her. Pretty, all right, she was pretty, but he was for me, for me. The night I'd lie there thinking if she was dead. If she was dead. She had to be dead. She had to be dead. Miss <laughs> Wilkins, for five years, I've known you for five years. What you're saying isn't true. I know it isn't. Your mind, all that's happened, you you couldn't really... Shut up! Just shut up! Oh, all right, Miss Wilkins. You listen to me. I killed her. I killed her with poison. And I'm going to die the way they did. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. You're out of your mind. Now I know exactly what I'm saying and doing. You know how long I've waited for this moment, Mr. Arno. Five years. Five years. Every night for five years. Every time I was alone in the dark, I've been waiting for this moment. I don't have to wait anymore. Well, why not? Because it's here. Who? It's here in the canyon. Uh, waiting. Waiting to kill me. There's no one here but you and me. They knew. And now I know. Well, I tell you, there's no one in this canyon but the two of us. And their bodies. What? What's over there? Huh? Oh, nothing but the, the shadow of a rock on the canyon wall. Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. What are you talking about? Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. I see it plainly. It, it is a shadow. Not a shadow, Mr. Arno. Why do you keep saying that? Coming closer. Well, the the sun is getting lower in the sky. If it touches me, I'll die. Don't say that. The way they die. Stop talking nonsense. Get you out of here. Someone will come along. Up there. Is there anyone up there? We're, we're down in the canyon. Get us out of here. Now, you, you just sit there and relax until some... Miss Wilkins. Miss Wilkins. Dead? Bottle? What? Poison. You killed yourself. Why? The shadow. Yes. Touching you. Only a shadow. 
Is it? Someone! Someone get me out of here! Get me out of here! There. There we are. You lie there, Mr. Kamari. Miss Wilkins. Miss Guard. And now you, Mr. Kamari. Now, all of you lie there and listen to me. It is getting quite dark. And while it's still light enough so that I can see you, I I want to talk to you. Dead as you are, I've got to find something out. Listen to the wind. This just come up. The wind. It moans around the rocks, but I, I'm not moaning. You, you hear that, Miss Wilkins? I'm not. I'm just talking to you reasonably. It's been so many hours, and yet you hear I'm talking reasonably. Please, please understand, my friends. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I took you to Hidden Canyon to show you the lichens and the glacial action on the rocks. I didn't want you to die. And that's what I've got to talk to you about. Dead as you are. Why did you die? It was all quite accidental. Wasn't it, Miss Guard? Answer me, Miss Guard. The rocks that crushed you, all quite accidental. It wasn't because you had committed a murder, was it? All quite accidental. Wasn't it, Miss Guard? Wasn't it, Miss Guard? How strangely my voice echoes between the rock walls. Uh, I will talk to you, Mr. Kamara. You climbed up the rocks. A clamp in your arm. You couldn't hold on any longer. You fell. That was all accidental, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Uh, there's no reason for me to shout like that. Is there? Oh. How quiet it is and dark. For years, I've, I've never been in the dark. At night, all, all the lights on in my house. I even sleep with a light on in the room. Never been in the dark for years. I'm in the dark at last. Alone. The three of you are dead. And so I... I'm alone. Oh. oh, a bird. An owl. Yes, of course, an owl. Mm. Miss Wilkins, you shouldn't have taken that poison. You should have stayed alive to, to talk to me. As long as there's someone to talk to, but when there's no one but the dead, that's a frightening thing. And I don't like the dark. And now I'm in the dark. Alone. That's a frightening thing, yes. Oh. Your faces. Why do I see your faces? Oh. It's the moonlight. How quickly the moon lighting your faces. Yes. I... I don't think I'm going to look at you. I'm going to sit here all through the night. My eyes closed. Yes. I will. I will. Uh, how long have I had my eyes shut? All night? There's, there's light against my eyes. I know it. All right. I will open my eyes. Moonlight, so bright, filling the canyon, the walls, so very bright. Shadow, 
shadow on the wall. What? Moving along the wall. Shadow of what? Miss Wilkins. You said a shadow, Miss Wilkins. You, you... You're smiling. Mr. Kamalin, you too. Miss Guard, all of you smiling. Is it the moonlight or are you really smiling? Why are you smiling? Why? All right. I know. You know. All right. My eyes are open. And when the shadow touches me... When the shadow touches me... Who? 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 Who's... Must have gone down here. Lights. People. Hello down there. Anyone down there? Anyone? Yes. Yes. Mr. Kamalin, who killed his brother. Miss Guard, who killed her husband. Miss Wilkins, who killed her. Yes. Yes, I'm down here. Come and get me. I've waited for you for 15 years. I murdered my wife. You hear me? I murdered my wife. Well, Mr. Obler... The wages of sin, eh? I suppose you can call it that. Whether one believes that wage is exacted by conscience or ghost or God, I think the progress of man has proved that you can't violate the basic human moralities without eventual retribution. Certain slant-eyed individuals, together with their goose-stepping compatriots, are rapidly learning the truth of that truism. Which reminds me of next week in Bathysphere. Oh, you mean Saturday night Bathysphere? <laughs> no, the Tuesday night variety. But I'll tell you about that in a moment. If... Vitamin B1 and iron shortage is what's keeping you underweight and under par. Why go on that way? Ironized yeast supplies both vital substances in easy-to-take tablet form at a cost of but a few pennies a day. Now, a rundown condition may stem from other causes. If in doubt, see your doctor. But if you simply need more vitamin B1 and iron, remember, ironized yeast has been so successful in so many such cases that it's sold on this no-risk, money-back basis. If you don't begin to eat better, look and feel better, the cost of the first bottle will be refunded to you in full by Ironized Yeast, Box IY, Rawway, New Jersey. And now, what's this about a Tuesday night bath, Mr. Obler? Bathysphere. That's the amazing diving bell developed by scientist Beebe, which has enabled divers to go under the sea to amazing depths. Next week, we go down under the sea in what is one of my favorite stories, and I think it'll be one of yours after you listen to it. Two men start under the ocean in search of a diving record, and the excitements which follow happen, <laughs> as usual, next week. Yes, tune in next Tuesday again for Arch Obler's amazing story, Bathysphere. And if you need more vitamin B1 and iron, be sure to try Ironized Yeast, the one and only Ironized Yeast, with the big letters IY on the package and on each tablet. <laughs> the treasure hunt, folks. All out for the treasure hunt. Just hunt up discarded white shoes in your storeroom or attic. Make them attractive and good-looking again with Energine Shoe White. Save a number 18 shoe ration coupon for another pair of shoes. Use Energine Shoe White because it's made only with the very whitest pigment obtainable. Energine Shoe White spreads over shoes easily and dries evenly to a real white, never a dingy off-white. Yes, to keep white shoes looking better longer, use Energine Shoe White. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. That concludes today's episode. We'd like to thank you and remind you to donate at choiceclassicradio.com. Remember, your donations make episodes like this possible.